people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about some additions that have been made to the Spence Ugas undercard. You know, uh, PBC and the fine folks over there, Al Heyman and company, they're, uh, they're trying to put together a, a, a good, you know, card. Um, I made two additions, and I kind of want to just talk about those and get my little take on them. Um, so... Probably as far as name value is concerned, the most notable fight is uh, Isa Cruz versus Yuki Oris Gamboa. And, you know, with Pitbull Cruz, Pitbull Cruz made a name for himself the night he fought Tank Davis. You know, a lot of people were, were very impressed with the account he gave of himself. It was a close fight. I, I personally only had Tank winning by, you know, maybe two points, 115, 113. You know, but um, Cruz, Cruz did a good job. He showed himself to be defensively sound, um, an intelligent, aggressive fighter. Um, and someone that comes to bring the pain and, you know, he's, he's going to be fighting. He's going to fight this fight. He's taking a step down because he's going to be fighting the, the, a faded version. Some would say the corpse of Yuki Oris Gamboa. And um, look, man, it's very easy to shit on this fight. I don't, I'm not going to get mad at, any, at anybody if they do because, um, you know, Gamboa, although he's showing himself to be durable, he is getting on the wrong side of, 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 of his career as far as his age is concerned. And, you know, it just it's going to be looked at as a trade pick, you know. But uh, to, to its credit, Gamboa, former world champion, former gold medalist. And in his recent outings, you know, against Devin Haney, he went the distance. And against um, Javante Davis, he got stopped. But it was, in the, I think it was like in the 11th or 12th round. So he's given these guys rounds. And he's, a, and he's got a lot of experience. You know, I've seen Gamboa spar in the gym with, with people that I know personally at, at the South Boxing Academy. And um, he's he still he still he still knows the tricks of the trade. He knows how to survive. He knows how to smother punches. He knows how to box at range if you give him the time and the space and the pace. If you don't push that pace on him and you allow him time to set his pace, he can get he can get he can get settled into a good good rhythm. And he's still got two or three really great rounds left in him. Um, and I've seen that in the gym from him. I've seen that you know we've seen that in a couple fights. So um, you know not the worst fight in the world. Um, coming out the tank fight, it should be the kind of fight where if you're cruised. You go on there and you look to make a statement against Tank uh, against uh, Gamboa, maybe get his knockout and uh, push your way up the the other the one thirty five pound rankings. But uh, yeah, Gamboa will give him rounds. He's durable, he's experienced, and he knows where on that boxing ring. Those things can't be denied. Now that's the, that's that's a whatever fight. You know that's cool as far as the names go. But let me tell y'all something. The real fight that y'all need to really be paying attention to is on this card is. Um, Boutier versus Emmanuel Stionis. This is this is going to be an absolute barn burner. You know, these are two guys in the welterweight division that you know a lot of times as boxing fans we get caught up talking about Spence Crawford, Ennis, Virgil Ortiz, them guys. But but these these guys, you know, the the, the, the Europeans, you know, Stion, Stionis being from Lithuania, Boutier being from Russia. These guys have been quietly marching their way up the rankings, uh, turning in some good fights. You know, Stionis or I should say Boutier. I actually had a chance to go to Butiev's last fight when he had fought uh, Jamal James. And, uh, man, a, a lot of people, you know, Jamal James is not no bum welterweight. But Jamal James is a, is a good, good, solid, top 15 caliber welterweight. And uh, Butiev went in there and fought a very beautiful pressure style. He went in there and, and he showed himself to be someone that, uh, you know, could really be a factor in this weight class. You know, if you're looking at guys that could potentially go on to fight, you know, maybe Spence or Jerron Ennis or, or guys like that. Um, he's someone you gotta want to look out for. Stion, um, Butiev is strong. He's got good angles. He he he's not afraid to get into that chest and and, and impress you. You know, I, I I like I like what Stylonis brings to the table. And um, you know, the way, seeing how he he just dissected Jamal James in person was uh, something to watch. So yeah, Butiev's gonna come to bring the fight. You know, Stylonis. This is a this is a guy that PBC. Is high on, you know, uh, from Lithuania. This is a guy that's already been in the ring with with, with some name fighters like Justin Deloach. He knocked out Justin Deloach. He fought uh, Luis Calazo's last fight. That fight ended on an accidental head clash. Um, you know, Delorme, with, with the Delorme fight, he had uh, beat Delorme and outworked him and grinded him down to a decision. So this is a good step up for Stionis, a guy that, you know, a lot of people in the sport are high on. You know, um, Stionis was a, a Lithuanian Olympian. Uh, Butiev, someone that you know just stopped Jamal James, and these guys are two fighters that like to that like to come to fight. They don't come to box. They don't come to you know get on their bike. This is going to be a war. And I don't think people are really 
for the for, 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 for the people that have heard about this fight, I don't think this fight's really getting its its proper uh, just do it. It, it. it truthfully isn't because you know anybody who watched Boutier versus Jamal James will tell you, you know, he was uh, something special that night against Jamal James. Um, you know, and Boutier's coming in with a great amateur background as well. You know, Boutier was like three hundred, yeah, like four hundred fights in the amateurs. They're saying that his his record in the amateurs was three uh, three ninety two and eight. So, you know, a lot lot of experience there for Boutier, and he's still at a good age at twenty eight. Um, you know, coming from you know a place like Russia, where which has produced so many you know really really good fighters over the years, um, this is to me the real main event of the whole card. Ugas and Spence is, is going to be whatever. You know, it's it's a unification fight. But Ugas and Spence, I don't think will be an exciting fight. And Gamboa versus uh, Cruz, I don't think will be the most exciting fight. I think it's going to be rather one-sided. I think Cruz will go in there. Um, he'll have some trouble early on because Gamboa is a wildly experienced veteran. But, you know, it'll be one-sided when it's all said and done. But this fight between Butiev and Stionis, this is like, this has a chance to go down as one of the best fights in the division because of just the way these guys fight. You know, they both have uh, fought at a good level. It's also an important fight for the welterweight division because the winner of this fight is potentially looking at maybe fighting Jerron Ennis or Earl Spence and taking the next step up in their career. So it's a fight that's entertaining for the fans, but it's a fight that means something. And in boxing, we're always looking for those fights that mean something. So I'm, I'm gassed by Boutiev and Stionis. And, as clo and the closer this fight gets, I'll, I'll be making more videos about this fight, talking about it and giving it, giving it its just due because it's a matchup that boxing fans should know more about and should get more excited about. So uh, you guys, uh, that's the news. Those, those are my thoughts on uh, uh, the additions to the Earl Spence Ugas undercard featuring Gamboa versus Isaac Cruz and uh, Stionis versus Butiev. So you guys, give me your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time. Take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.